Hi, I'm Michelle Pegler of Gigi Makes Quilts, and today I'm showing you some more tips on another Social Lights block. This is block number 16 called the Christmas Star, and here's the block I made. I'm going to give you some alternate cutting instructions so that you can do some uh, four at a time flying geese in this block if you'd like, and some eight at a time half square triangles. Uh, so I'll get to the cutting instructions here in a minute and I will make sure to link my videos where I've walked through the eight at a time HST method before and the flying geese four at a time method before if you need to look at how to do those again. Um, and as always, I'll also link the conversion tool for um, if you wanna do this on any other blocks in the future. Thanks so much for watching today. Let's get started. All right, so here are my cutting tips on this block. Uh, first, I'm gonna talk about the corner units. So in this block, you see some half square triangles in each of the corner units, and there's eight in total. So the pattern will tell you to make them four at a or two at a time, but I like to do that eight at a time. So I've gone ahead and written here the cutting instructions you would need to do eight at a time. So I'm doing the nine inch block, which means that out of the background and my print fabric, all I had to do was cut one five inch square of each and that replaces pieces A and D in the pattern. So I've got my five inch squares here, and I've already marked on the diagonals, so I'll make sure to link here uh, the full tutorial of eight at a time HSTs that I have done before. Um, another reason I love doing eight at a time HSTs, especially in a block like this, when a block has radial symmetry around the center like this, you can use a directional fabric with the eight at a time method. So you can see I've got this one with um, text and without even trying, no matter how I put these together, I'm gonna get eight HSTs that perfectly fit in all these spots so that I can have my text running the same direction on all those pieces. Um, so I'll, you'll see that in the finished block. So that's HSTs. The other thing I wanna talk to you about is the flying geese. So there are a lot of flying geese in this pattern. Um, there's the flying geese around the edges in that teal color. So that's just standard for flying geese. You can see, um, rather than making those one at a time, I'm gonna do those four at a time. Again, you could choose to use directional fabric and because it has radial symmetry, you would get it so that they would all be going in the same direction um, if you chose to do that. Then there's some hidden flying geese in here where you see this blue. Uh, these units here, you have to first make four flying geese with just the blue fabric and the background. And then you also have to add corner squares in this pink fabric to make it um, that kind of double-sided flying geese unit. So for those, I'll also be, so this kind of shows. So at this step, you can do four at a time flying geese to get your four of these. And then you do have to do the corner squares with that additional fabric to get the ultimate um, unit looking like this. So that's two sets of four at a time flying geese. And here are the cutting instructions if you would like to do that for your blocks. So the nine inch, six inch, three inch, uh, for each set, you're going to need one larger square of uh, whatever print fabric or colored fabric, and then four smaller squares of the whatever your background is. So since there's two sets, um, that's gonna replace pieces F and G in the pattern, and then um, it'll replace most of pieces C. So they've kind of combined in the pattern. It makes you cut 20 squares for C. Um, that covers all those flying geese that I just talked about, but it also covers this uh, square and a square in the center block. So if you do switch to the four at a time method for all the flying geese, you do still need four squares for the square and the square at this um, size. So that's pieces C. And here's those cutting instructions if you would like to make your block the same way as me, a little bit faster. Here is the final block. And as I told you, you can see my text print. It's going the correct direction on all eight half square triangles. I hope these tips helped you out with this block. Thanks so much for watching.